Hi friends, this is a very very special video because in this video I will speak to you about a very popular stock Ireda. This stock is very popular because if you look at this stock in the last two months itself the stock has given close to 183% returns. So the natural question is that is this stock forming a bubble which is likely to get busted or this stock might go to 2x, 5x, 10x or 20x in the near future. I will speak only data and facts. I will also compare Irida stock with PFC, RAC in this video. will also give you a lot of insight into financing stocks KPIs that you need to look for. Only humble request I have for you is either watch the video fully or just don't watch because half knowledge is worse than no knowledge. With that spirit, let's get this video started. So what does this company do that makes this company so popular? For this, let's just quickly have a look at my screen and you will see that this is India's largest pure play green financing NBFC. Simply mean that this company is a NBFC that gives loan to companies that are operating in the renewable power sector. The companies that are having wind energy, solar energy and sort of projects going on, Irida provides loan to those companies, right? Now, secondly, important point is that it is a mini Ratna PSU company and PSU companies have been in a bull run in the last 12 months as all of us know, right? Moving on, one important point in the journey of this company has been that November 29th, 2023, last year, two months ago, the company got listed on BSE and NSE. And to my surprise, the IPO issue price of this company was only 32 rupees. So people who got the IPO for this company, they might be sitting at five time profits. If you got this stock through IPO, let me know in the comments, would love to know that. But the point is the stock got listed at 56% premium and was listed at 50 rupees on BSC and within two months of the time the stock has rallied and right now is trading at around 170 rupees level right but during this last two months rally the stock has hit upper circuit couple of times and more importantly in January in the last four days the stock has rallied by 31 percent so the question comes what is so special about this stock is it about the industry that it operates in for that let me show you two quick charts chart number one that you see is showing you the growth rate of companies that are operating in power sector and are nbfcs and if you look at the last five years they have grown at a cagr of nearly 10 percent so meaning nbfcs that are giving loan to companies that are operating in power sector has grown only by a cagr of 10 percent so it is not a phenomenal growth at all but if you dig deeper this is where chart number two comes here and this chart tells us the growth of NBFCs that are operating in renewable power sector. And if you see the CAGR in the last two years, it is growing at 22% growth. And this is where Irida is one of the company and is enjoying that upward movement because of this growth in the renewable power sector. But the million dollar question is why the renewable power sector is growing like crazy? Simple explanation is Indian governments push towards renewable energy. And as you can see in this chart, by March 32, India wants to have 570 gigawatts of renewable energy capacity installed within India. And you see how this graph is growing. So in the next five to eight years, renewable sector will continue to grow and the stocks that are in this sector are going to perform good. And I've talked about some of those stocks on my channel, on my YouTube member community, stocks such as SJVN, that has almost doubled from the time I got it, Suzlon, and many other stocks I've talked about. And if you want to learn analysis of these stocks, then you can consider subscribing to my YouTube member community. So which are the stocks that are operating in renewable energy power sector from an NBFC perspective? So what you see on my screen is total six stocks that are operating in this sector. And interestingly, PFC, which is Power Financing Corporation, another Maharatna PSU has captured the largest market share. It is at 32%, right? It is number one. So Irida is not number one when it comes to renewable energy power sectors loan book, right? Irida is in fact at number two, but it is neck to neck. It is at 31%. So it has captured 31% of the market share. And number three is REC, which is at 19%. Subsequently in this video, I will compare REC, PFC and Irida on various factors. But the point here is that Irida is not not having any monopoly right now that is not the only company that is giving loan to companies that are operating in renewable energy sector right point number one here is that irida has got nothing special as such because pfc REC and many other companies can lend to companies that are operating in the renewable power sector. The only point is that Irida has got 100% of its loan book built from the renewable energy sector loans while PFC and REC they also give loans to for example thermal power companies, distribution and transmission companies and also infrastructure companies. So from a risk perspective PFC and REC are much more diversified and Irida is only focusing on the renewable energy sector companies. I hope the point one is very clear to you. Now, if we compare the returns in the last one year, you will see that Power Finance Corporation in the last one year has given close to 285% returns. 
And if you look at the IRIDA, it has given 183% as we've seen in the last two months though. Come back to REC and you will see last one year, REC has given 300% returns. One of the stock that I talked about on my channel four or five months ago. So all in all, REC, PFC and IRIDA, they are a growing company. They are all growth stocks. Let me now walk you through the comparison of these NBFC and understand if IRIDA has got any monopoly or any special points or any special conditions that makes it preferred stock compared to REC or PFC. Let's now do quick comparison on very, very specific KPIs. So if you look at the loan book of IRIDA as of March 2023, the loan book was 4,70,000 roughly here. And if I show you PFC, you will see it is 85,75,000. So close to 20 times bigger loan book is what PFC has as compared to IRIDA. And if I show you REC, REC is also 43,50,000. So close to 10 times bigger loan book as compared to IRIDA is what REC has. Now, why does this matter? If you have bigger loan book, then what happens is getting borrowing for you becomes very, very easy comparatively because the companies or lenders that are going to give you money, they know that you have a very big loan book and the chances of you defaulting is going to be very, very less. In fact, that gives you muscle power to negotiate with your lenders and get your borrowing rate slightly lower than other companies, right? Now you may have a natural question here that Rahul Irda is giving loans to only companies that are operating in the renewable energy sector, while PFC and REC, they are also lending to other businesses, right? Like infrastructure business or thermal power generation business. So why are we comparing only this? So let me now give you specific recent numbers as well. So if you look at Irida here, Irida's loan book for the first nine months have grown by only 33%. And if we compare this data with PFC, you will see PFC's loan book for the renewable loan book has grown by 37% in the first half of 2023. There, I think quarter three results are yet to be announced. So overall, PFC is growing slightly better than IRIDA from renewable energy power sector perspective. So nobody is stopping PFC or REC to lend money to companies that are operating in the renewable energy sector. I keep telling this to people because you need to understand that IRIDA has not got any monopoly. REC, PFC, and in fact, any other companies are open to operate in this market until government brings any policies that restricts them to do, which they are not likely to do because PFC and REC is also PSU companies. In fact, PFC is a Maharatan company while Irida is only Mini Ratna company. Let's move to point number two, which is let's have a look at their net interest margin percentage. What is net interest margin percentage? It is the difference of your interest rate at which you lend the money minus the rate at which you borrow the money. So if you lend the money at 9%, but if you're borrowing at 7%, simplistically put 2% is your net interest margin percentage. So if you compare the data, Irida's net interest margin percent for March 2023 is hovering at around 3.32%. If you look at PFC, that is also at around 3.27%, very, very similar data here. And from REC's perspective as well, 3.41%, very similar scale at which all three companies are operating at really. Let's now look at the next KPI, which is CRAR, which is Capital Risk Adjusted Adequacy Ratio, simply meaning how much of capital this company has to cover its risk. And if you see the data, IRIDA is running at 18.82% as of March, 2023. If you compare this with PFC, you will see that it is at 24%. So PFC is much better in terms of covering its risk. If you look at REC, it is sitting at 25%. So much better than IRIDA from a risk perspective. If you compare the debt or NPAs, if you look at the gross NPA, IRIDA is at 3.21%. It used to be 8.77%, very high. It is now come down to 3.21%. If you look at PFC here, PFC's gross debt is 3.66%, very similar. And from a REC's perspective, it is at 3.42%, right? If you look at the net NPA percentage, which is gross NPAs minus provisions. So if you look at that, that number is at 1.66% for IRIDA. And if you look at PFC, that number is much better, 1.06%. And if you look at REC, you will see that it is 1.04%. So REC and PFC has a slightly better NPA than IRIDA. So from that perspective, these two companies are right now better. So far, if you're liking this video, a humble request for you to hit the like button. It will motivate me to come up with some more videos and will do a lot of analysis for you at zero cost. Now, I'm not saying that IRIDA is a bad company as compared to PFC or REC or for that matter, any other company. My simple point is that I am trying to understand here and analyze what is so special about IRIDA that it is going crazy, right? Now, let me bring you to the valuation part as well. And if we see here, we will look at P ratio, a simple ratio, and you will see that REC is at 11. Power Financing Corporation is running at 8 PE, which is very, very low. But if you look at IRIDA, it is trading at 50 PE, almost five times, six times more than PFC and REC. From a PB ratio perspective as well, IRIDA is trading at 7.32 multiple, while PFC is only at 1.24, REC is only at 2.12. 
Now tell me one single reason why should somebody invest in Irida? I might be missing a point here and if you are an expert, let me know in the comments. I would love to learn from you because as per my analysis, I cannot find a single reason why people are going crazy about Irida because the valuation is extremely, extremely high. I've shown you the loan book here. Loan book of PFC is close to 20 times more and more importantly, their renewable sectors loan book is also growing at 37%, which is much better than Irida. It's a Maharatan PSU while Irida is Mini Ratna PSU, right? Again, I'm not recommending you to go and invest in PFC and REC. I'm just giving you these data points so that you can understand these details before you take any investing calls. But please do not take this as a recommendation from my side. Now, let me bring you to conclusion of this video. In my view, we need to look at the risk and reward ratio always before we invest. So quick two or three points I'll make here. Point number one is Irida's IPO has come only two months ago, right? And in the next few months, what is likely to happen is that there is likely to be profit booking by many investors. So we might see a lot of volatility in the case of Irida. That is not likely to be the case with PFC and REC and many other NBFCs. So from a risk perspective or stock correction perspective, the chances are that at some point in time, Irida's stock will correct. Point number two is we are right now overall in a bull run. And when we are in bull run, what happens is the stocks are going up like this. I mean, majority of the stocks are like going like this. And what happens is that if the market corrects, we are going to see a cascade impact. What is a cascade impact or cascade effect? You might have seen those videos where one cycle falls and all the cycles that are dependent on that, they will all fall tick, 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 tick. It is going to be a very similar cascade effect. If the market falls, then companies like Irida are likely to see more fall because the speed at which they are growing, they might come down at the same speed. Please remember market does not just move on fundamentals. It moves on sentiments, it moves on fear, it moves on greed. And the third point I want to make from a FII's stake perspective, if you look at REC, you will see that FII's have been actually booking profits. It has gone down from 26% to 20% here. If you look at PFC, from a PFC's perspective, FI stake has been solid at 17.85% very constant. So what is likely to happen is that REC and PFC, they're less likely to see profit booking by FII because REC already has seen it, but still the stock has not fallen down. In the case of PFC, there might be some profit booking, but in case of Irida right now, the FII is only hold 1.88%. So that risk is not there from Irida's perspective as well. So just to conclude, my point of view is that I'm not planning to invest in Irida right now because of very high valuation. And the reason that I could not find a single point that tells me that Irida has got something special about the company as compared to companies like REC or PFC or any other NBFCs. Please do not take this as a recommendation from a REC and PFC perspective. In fact, if you want me to do full fundamental analysis of REC and PFC, let me know in the comments REC and PFC and I will come up with a video where I will give you a bit more detail about REC and PFC and we'll go into details about these two companies so that you understand more about NBFC companies operating in the power sector. Also, let me know what is your viewpoint on Irida? Do you hold it? Do you plan to hold it? Let me know in the comments. Any other stocks you want me to analyze, also let me know in the comments. Lastly, if you like the video, hit the like button. Let me know in the comments a simple thank you. It will motivate me to come up with more videos for you at zero cost. With that, I will see you in my next video. Until then, keep rocking.